you just want to know how to do this, these holes right here. Right. Okay, so what do you got that you can cut that with? Tell me again. It's the uh, 6.33 glass carbon 46264. Flat mill? Was it a shake? It's a 10 flute tool. Well, you're going to have to have an, an angle tool to get that countersink in there. You got anything else you can with an angle on it? I do not. Okay. Okay. Um, with that flat mill, you're not going to. Well, I guess you could. You could. Let me just let me just show you what you'd have to do. Here, what we're going to do is check some things first. Let's check what the diameters are here. I can't see that, so let's go to. Okay, so let's analyze some diameters. So that's 11. A second, 11. And then. Oh, diameter 19. Okay. So what what diameter is your uh, tool that you can use? Uh, 6.33. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do then a let's do a pocket for that to start with. We're just going to select that. And which one is it? Right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do an offset. That's fine. Uh, we'll just, this is not critical. I don't believe. I mean, as far as you don't need really tight tolerances on this, right? I'm going to finish it right in one operation. You can split it up with a second operation if you want. You understand that. So doing at top, the cut depth is. Uh, near we're going to go from here to here 25 and we'll do how, how how what's the thickness you can cut in that that's what i'm calculating right now it's for the millimeters point point one two for a step down okay uh, we're going to do a helix um and we'll do uh What's your normal tolerance? 0.01? Yes. Okay. Zero stock. Uh, we'll do it 0.02. And let's just generate that. Okay. So there's your really tight step down pocket. Okay. Okay. Well, we got to go by what you feel that tool can cut, because it's going to be cutting cutting the full full width of the cutter. I would usually go down. Um, I'd probably get like six or seven lines. Okay. Okay. I got you. Hold on a second. So about four millimeters. That look better. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah, I can just hear you a little bit over this. Okay. Okay, so we're, I'm just simulating through this net right now. Okay, so we got that through hole. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same tool and create another pocket. Uh, let's just do a two axis pocket. Okay, so let's go to, we're going to go to the bottom one and we're going to use the same tool and cut parameters. We'll do an offset. 
everything the same. Let's just uh, at bottom uh, generate. Okay, so there is that. So we're going to do the through pocketing and the counter bore pocketing. With the counter sink, we're going to go with three axis uh, radial machining. This path goes like this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to run the tool from edge to edge around. Okay. okay? Yeah. So we're going to use this and we're going to go with that tool. We're going to go use uh, 01, 0.01, okay? And for the depth, let's see what that has a Z containment. Yep, Z containment for the lowest, we're not going to go any further than this. Okay? So basically, the tool is just going to go up and down and ride the edge all the way yep. around. That's right. what it's going to do. Okay, so cut parameters. Uh, I'm not sure what the step over needs to be. You just have to, to analyze it, see how much of a cusp you have. But okay. I'm going to put it down to like 10%. Just that should sure. be enough. So let's just generate that. Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. Let's just simulate that and see what it like. It looks just weird. Well, let's go ahead and simulate it. See what it okay. looks like. Got that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it's all okay, it's going all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's actually doing it. It's actually you see that? Right here. Yep. Yep. It's, do, it's doing it. So we just we don't need that tight of a step over is what it is. I think we can go like 15 or even 20. Mm -hmm. Let's just do 20 to see the path. Or 25. Okay. okay. It just looks odd, but when you simulate it. Yeah, it, it looks like, like that square edge there yeah. on the inside. Yeah. Let's watch the tool. It's going to go up and around. So it's doing it. It's riding this. I don't like that it's riding the hole. So what we can do is see if we could control the Z depth, see if it'll honor that. I but mean, that, I don't. I don't hate that it's riding the hole at all. I mean, okay. okay. If it if it really gets what we're looking for, it doesn't really bother me, you know. Yep. It's not going to hurt the part. That gets it. You may have to tighten the step over to, you know, it depends on how yep. much you see that that's cusping, but you can tighten up the uh, tighten up the step over. Now, let's just look at trying to not ride the hole. Let's just out of uh, curiosity. Let's tell it it can't go any lower than that. Let's just generate that. OK, OK, so let's do that again. Speed it up this time. When you're good, you're good, Don. How's that look? That's beautiful, man. So now you can just use these, change the parameters, whatever you want to do. But that's that's the way. That's really the only way that you you're going to get that with only using a flat end mill. So right on, yes, correct. Should work. Okay. I would have never gotten that without you. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, make sure you. I mean, by doing this, we're only showing you a strategy. We're not. We're not recommending any cut feed rates. We're not recommending any. Sure, sure. Just as the strategy itself. Okay.